Today, I will share with you a topic, DIY your wedding or not. There are many resources online nowadays that can help you to ease the DIY process, but sometimes it will not explain the whole process. Because it needs experience, space, time, or event skills to handle those DIY projects in your wedding. Therefore, I will share with you the top 5 areas that our client always ask for DIY opinions. Let's check it out! Wedding Decoration Things that you can DIY in this area is the photo album table. You can purchase the items from Lazada, Taobao, or Shopee. Or you can rent it from My Wedding Planner. The items that usually need to decorate the table are fairy lights, vases, dried flowers, photo frames, lace cloth, and so on. Things that you should not DIY in this area are the decoration of main table, walkway, arch, and photo backdrop. I know that it is very easy and convenient to get all the stuff from online, but try to imagine if you would like to have a painted backdrop for ceremony, then you will need a big painting board, painting tools, paints, and space to create it out. If you have limited space in your house, then you may face storage issue before and after the event. Some people might say, what if I have a big house or warehouse to keep all the items? Yes, it will be good, but you need to consider the transportation of delivery and also the time spent to decorate what? it. Flowers Flowers that you can DIY is when you use dried flowers for your bridal bouquet, groom corsage, or simple decor for your registration table. Then you can be prepared early and will not rush before the day. Or if you are experienced or familiar with the flower market and you know how to keep it fresh, when is the best time to collect it and how to utilize it? But when is the scenario that you should not DIY is you want to have fresh flower and you do not have any experience to do it or you do not have any manpower to help you to arrange it. Then I will not suggest you to DIY. Why? Because you need to consider the handling of floral, transportation, and storage. Do you know that fresh flowers are more difficult to take care? And I believe you wouldn't want to have a dead flower bouquet or it loosen up when you're watching it. Stationery Things that you can DIY in this area are guest book, e save the date, and table number card. Why do I suggest so? It is because you only need to create one guest book for your wedding. For example, you can attend classes with your fiancé to learn how to draw yourself in the guest book and let your guests to sign around it. Isn't it special? But what is the thing that you should not DIY? It is the main invitation card. You can design yourself but do not involve in the printing production because you need to consider the card material to use printing option or size cutting if you print it up. If you are printing it at home and you do not have any paper cutter, then you need to use scissors to cut one by one or fold it into the right angle to make it look nice. Or if you want to have special design like this, it may cost more time, energy and money to print a large quantity of invitation card. Wedding cake and dessert When can you DIY your wedding cake and dessert? You can DIY for the cake design and give the design file to your baker and discuss with him or her for your expectation. You also can DIY for the cake topper by the help from professionals like attending their class to do something that signifies you and your fiancé. If your wedding is small and intimate, then yes, you can consider to bake your dessert such as homemade candy, simple macaron, cookies or biscuit. Why you should not DIY the wedding cake? If you do not have any special reason that you must DIY the cake and dessert, then let the baker to do it for you, so that you have more time and less stressful for your wedding. Another thing you should consider is the transportation and storage for your cake. If the wedding cake is trickiest or easy to clean up, then you will definitely face more hidden issues that you wouldn't realize before it. If you worry about the budget, you can choose for dummy cake because it is more stable and cheaper. Wedding Favors When you can DIY your wedding favors, it is when your wedding is small and intimate. You can consider to DIY the wedding favors such as homemade cookies or jam, 
soap or candles that is easy to be made by yourself. And when you should not DIY your wedding favors, it is when your wedding has more than 150 packs of guests. I think you will not want to spend your weeks and months just to prepare the gift for your guests. It will be exhausted for you. Why don't you consider to purchase the wedding favors from supplier? Or consider the wedding favors that are included in the hotel or restaurant package. Small weddings are in the trend, but we still suggest you to have a wedding coordinator to help you to run all the things behind the scene, from stand up to dismantle to post wedding details, and not to do it all by yourself. Coordinator will have a solution to your unpredictable surprise and help you to solve it. That's all for today. There are many pros and cons for DIY or not to DIY. But the most important thing is that you have to find a way that you like it and comfortable with. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, turn on the bell and share the video. See you!